Poland is furious at Germany for chucking the EU under the bus after Vladimir Putin's gas squeeze ravaged the bloc. Warsaw's rage was aimed at Berlin for striking a deal with the Russian president to see the Nord Stream 2 pipeline transit gas from Russia to Germany, bypassing Poland and Ukraine. But in the hope to avoid EU law and speed up its certification, Mr. Putin has been accused of tightening gas supplies traveling into Europe through other pipelines. The move saw gas prices skyrocket to record highs as supplies were kept low, prompting soaring fears of an energy crisis in the bloc. Poland's foreign minister, Zbigniew Rau, reiterated Poland's opposition to the project on Friday, he said during a joint press conference with Germany's new foreign minister Annalena Baerbock. Poland consistently pointed to the harmfulness of this project for our mutual relations, although the pipeline certification has been suspended by German regulators. Polish gas giant Gnig said in a submission as part of the certification procedure back in October that Nord Stream 2 would threaten the supplies of EU gas. Gnig chief executive Paul Majewski said in a statement, The current situation on the European Union gas market proves the scale of the risks for security of supplies created by the Nord Stream 2 project. Since there is spare capacity on the existing pipelines, there is no need for Nord Stream 2 to increase gas supplies to the EU member states. But Russia claims that Nord Stream 2 would double Moscow's annual gas export capacity under the Baltic Sea to 110 billion cubic meters, and could provide relief to the European gas market. And with Russia appearing desperate for the pipeline's operation to begin, Joe Biden has called for the pipeline to be abandoned if Moscow decide to invade Ukraine. It comes as tension with the West and Russia has reached a boiling point after the Russian president reportedly deployed over 100,000 troops to the Ukraine-Russia border. But Washington, who have urged Mr. Putin not to invade, believe that Nord Stream 2 can not now be used as leverage. Following a virtual meeting between Mr. Biden and Mr. Putin, security adviser Jake Sullivan told reporters at the White House, when it comes to Nord Stream 2, the fact is the gas is not currently flowing through the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which means that it's not operating, which means that it's not leverage for Russian President Vladimir Putin. It is leverage for the West. If Vladimir Putin wants to see gas flow through that pipeline, he may not want to take the risk of invading Ukraine, but some experts are not so sure. Professor Tracy German, from King's College London, told, not sure I fully agree with US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan who said the fact that gas was not yet flowing through Nord Stream 2 created leverage for the West over Putin. Gazprom and Russia still have considerable leverage over Europe. Russia is happy to exploit vulnerabilities, such as over-reliance on it as a supplier of natural gas, to achieve its own objectives, but it did not necessarily create these vulnerabilities.